Smartest thing I ever did for you, getting into those health food commodities. Not bad, Dan. Not bad at all. I never would have guessed it about this stuff. Yeah, me either. At least not like that. Oh, but things are really getting crazy now. See, my money was in that real estate limited partnership deal, and look what happened to that. The Canterbury comes tumbling down, and what promised to yield almost a hundredfold is now worth nothing. Your money? Well, no, no, not literally, but uh, in my opinion, that was the best long-term investment that's come along in the past five years. Oh, a lot of people got burned on this one. Yeah, including Nancy Lawson. Have you told her yet? No, not yet. In fact, I'm going to meet with her as soon as I'm through with you. What? That's not for another half an hour. Just relax. You think I'm going to be anywhere near here when you tell her she's lost all her money? You're crazy. Well, look, Fred, we still have to go over the rest of your investments. Some other time. Look, I introduced her to you, and dealing with that is going to be bad enough. For right now, I'm going to find some place safer, like uh, maybe a war-torn country in Central America. Missing something? Huh? Your knife, perhaps? If you look closely, you might just find it buried between my shoulder blades. What, what are you talking about? Oh, knock it off, sweetheart. You know very well what I'm talking about. You're the one that went to Brubaker accusing me of forging a soil analysis report, right? Nancy, this is hardly the time or place for this. I don't recall having spoken to you, Redland. No, and I suppose I should count my blessings, but right now, Miss Phillips and I have work to do. We have a story to work on. Oh, right. I guess two are better than one when it comes to lies. You sound as if you're speaking from experience, Miss Lawson. You little snip. I ought to just You, you ought to leave, Nancy. That's what you ought to do right now. No, as improbable as it may be, I'd like to see if she has anything worthwhile to say. It was you that went to Brubaker with those accusations, wasn't it? Maybe. But tell me, Ms. Lawson, what do you think I went to him with? Oh, you know very well what it... You like that, wouldn't you? You just want to trick me into saying something. Well, guess what? I'm not biting. Interesting slip, though. Oh, you don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I don't know about that. All right. Let's just pretend that there was something, that there is something that could prove your point. Oh, boy, I don't know if I can stretch my imagination this far. There's no way you could get anything legally anyway. If that were true, you could always press charges. If you did that, though, you'd end up in the same place as your partner, jail. I'll tell you what, Nancy. I'll come clean if you will. Well, you cheat. Exploiting Gee, little, the story. little nerd, you know that? Because of you not minding your own business, I'm the one that gets to look like a criminal, oh, eh? Come on, Nancy, you should be used to that by now. You stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. You had no right to implicate me like this. I mean, this was all Vicky. You have just humiliated me into people not thinking that I'm trustworthy. Jean, would you please call security? Gladly. You are not going to get me thrown out of here because I am not finished. I got more than I have to say. Where is she? Listen, lady. Security, this is Gene Redlin, the city desk. Would you please send someone up here right away and give us a little assistance? Russ, shh. The doctor said to be quiet as possible. Marianne, please. I have to. It's important. Russ, listen. Marianne, please. The other day, at Saddleback, when I was shot, what happened? Well, um, Ben and I both were there. And uh, we were outside when, when we heard the gunshots. And then that man ran outside. And um, after he left, we went in. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't have been there. There's an ambulance. Yeah, I called for one. It seemed to take forever to get there. There's two attendants. There's a man and a woman. He was older. He had brown hair. She was blonde. Just then, you were there, so was Ben. 
And there was a driver. Right. Uh, how did you know? I mean, you were... You were almost gone. Oh, yeah. Something... Something happened in the ambulance. Russ, you, you were dead. Ben said you were. Yeah. They stopped working on me. You were crying. I was, I was, I was still me, but it was, it was, it was different. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was like I was apart from everything. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? And not only that, but I think you pulled off this whole little caper so you could get a little free publicity for yourself. Nancy, I wasn't kidding when I said security was on its way up here. Will you just get lost, Redlin? I'm almost done anyway. Now let me just warn you here, sweetheart. Uh, how do you spell hosiery? I mean like in stockings. Uh -huh. Listen, this is serious. If you so much as mention my name in another one of your crummy little articles, I'll slap you with a lawsuit so fast that the only thing you're going to need to know how to spell is unemployment. Stage managers here, Nancy, to pull the curtain down on you. You know, I can do it, too. I'm a wealthy woman now. Well, I'm all through. I'm sorry. We won't be needing your services here. Let me just give you one warning, though. Lay off or pay the consequences. And by the way, I think you're all a bunch of parasites. You know that? I can't think of a more disgusting way of earning a living. Believe me, I think she's tried most of them. She's better than the comics. Yeah, unfortunately, non-disposable, though. Good morning. Amber. That certainly was very interesting. <laughs> was, wasn't it? <laughs> I normally don't find myself agreeing with total strangers, but in this case, I'll make an exception. In fact, I'll even use her words. Lay off, Stacy, or you'll pay the consequences. You're, you're scaring me. Why? It's, it's just so close. And you believe me? Yes, of course I do. Russ, you were dead. I was there. It's just knowing the reality of it all. My God is a loving God. I don't, I don't understand why he would make a place like that. <laughs> I must have met him a thousand times and refused his friendship. I treated him with more contempt than anyone I've ever known. He tried and I didn't. That's why there's such a place and I deserve to be there. <sighs> you've, always, you've always said that there's a hell. Yeah, I mean, you're not really surprised, are you? What about now, Russ? What are you gonna do? He's offering you more than just the hand of friendship. He's offering you a, a saving hand. I won't. Uh, I don't know. Help me understand. I've ever run into a more despicable group of human beings than reporters. 
Well, lawyers are a quick second, but reporters definitely are tops. Uh, well, my brother is the financial editor of the Chronicle. Oh, really? <laughs> How interesting. And my sister's a lawyer. Well, I I'm sure they're very fine people. <laughs> well, uh, what was this good news you wanted to tell me about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did my, did my secretary say it was good news? Well, no, but I just assumed. That... Um, perhaps you'd like a drink. What I have to say to you is not good news at all. What do you mean it's not good news? Remember when I invested your money, I explained certain risks. But you also said that you had some inside information that was going to make my money quadruple. And, and you came close to doing that. It was progressing exactly as I'd anticipated. That's why I kept you posted nearly every day. <laughs> well, what is the bad news? That maybe my $25,000 investment is not turning a profit as quickly as it should? Miss <sighs> Lawson, your $25,000 investment isn't turning any profit. It's lost, all of it. Lost? Now, let me explain this to you. As I tried to tell you before, with any kind of investment, there are risks involved. Risks? You've lost my $25,000 investment and you call that risk? That's theft, that's fraud. Right, just hold on here a minute. Now, I explained to you very carefully the pitfalls involved in a venture of this kind. You said this was the closest thing to a sure bet there the was. The closest, yes, but I didn't say it was. I would never say anything Yeah, but like you that. made it sound like that. Then you didn't listen very no, carefully. No, I always listen very carefully when it comes to money. You lied to me. I did not. Now, listen, I am just as shocked about this as you are. I mean, I was just telling a client this morning that this real estate limited partnership deal was the best prospective yield that has come down the pike in, in about five years. Yeah, real beauty. I mean, how was I to know that the Canterbury office complex would collapse? What? The Canterbury office complex. I mean, surely you heard what happened over there. Yes, I heard about it, but what does that have to do with my money? The real estate limited partnership invested your unit in that. You're kidding me. Do you think I would joke about something like this? No, no, you wouldn't, would you? It was written very plainly on your unit of investment. I never read that. That wasn't written there. Oh, no. No, you're not going to call me a liar on this one. Audrey, would you please bring in Nancy Lawson's file? What? Well, oh, so it is. Thank you, thank you. Now, look. There, there. I tried to go over that with you, but you insisted that it wasn't necessary. Because that old lounge lizard, Fred, told me. Look, uh, don't worry. Your first loss is always the toughest one. I mean, even Fred would tell you that. As a matter of fact, he was in here this morning. Listen, there's got to be some way we can change this. Maybe, maybe we could put my name on something else. You know, it'd be our little secret. I'm afraid that would be against the law, Miss Lawson. Well, so? I think I've had about enough of this conversation as I... No, please, look it. I, I'm sorry. I just... That was all I had in the whole world. All? Yes, that's what I just said. It was everything. Even so... You were the investor who lost the least. One partner lost $300,000. Well, what am I supposed to do, get all choked up about that? Look, I couldn't care less about anyone else. All I care about is myself. And, you know, I just lost everything that I ever had. I'm afraid, Miss Lawson, that your only option is to take Prescott Development to court. But seeing as how they'll probably declare bankruptcy, that would be relatively pointless. If you got two or three thousand of the original 25 back, you'd be doing well. And your lawyer's fees will be more than that. I'm afraid your money is gone. But don't you see, there's gotta be something I could do. That was everything. I'm bankrupt now. I'm sorry. Now, you know, you know, Prescott Development is charging that there was forgery involved in the paperwork that gave them the go-ahead to build. Now, if that does turn out to be true, you could sue the people involved. 
You don't know how this little goodbye is tearing me up. Me too, sweetheart. Why don't you change your mind? Come with me. Sorry. No, you know, you could do that. No way. Look, I know I've been really rough on you. I've slapped you around a little bit, but it wouldn't be the same. The change. No, it wouldn't. Look, I've gotten you the money you needed. Now it's over, okay? It's too bad, honey. It's too, too bad. That little book of yours is a real gold mine. Yeah, well, not anymore. Thanks to you, half the Johns in there won't speak to me anymore. Well, half a gold mine is better than nothing, isn't it? Tell me about it. Hmm? Where are you going from here? I don't know. Why do you want to know? So if I get a letter with that postmark, I'll know to throw it in the trash. You know what? I always want to know why I couldn't get abroad. It didn't have such a big, fat mouth. Oh, I'm sure you bring out the best in all the women you know. I do. You do know that. Knock don't it you, off. Honey? Yeah, I thought I might go out west, you know? Las Vegas, Reno. I gotta take care of something else first. One more little thing. I'm gonna pay old Russ Weaver a little visit in the hospital for the last time. Don't you walk away from me. This is my place of employment. Though this may come as a surprise to you, Amber, while I'm here, it's important for me to act as professionally as possible. This kindergarten tantrum of yours is not making that easy. It was your kindergarten tactics with Mother and with this fundraiser of Dave's that started this in the first place. Oh, I'll just have to remember this line of logic the next time I'm angry with you. I'll just waltz into your office and let you have it with both barrels. After all, if I feel I'm justified, you'll just have to sit there and take it. At least that's what you're trying to make me do. As far as my so-called kindergarten tactics go, I told Mom about a need that wasn't being met, and she responded, Period. It was just a simple presentation, wasn't it, Stacy? Just the cold, hard facts. No sentiments, no pulling on the heartstrings a little bit. As a matter of fact, it was. Now, will you just stop and listen to yourself for a moment? We're talking about our mother. You are accusing me of rendering her incapable of making her own decision. And not only are we talking about our mother, we're talking about one of the most independent people either of us has ever met. Now, doesn't that make your theory just a little bit unrealistic? It might, if we were discussing any other issue besides Dave Phillips. He's her Achilles heel, you know that. I know it, but she doesn't. And it makes me angry that you've exploited all of it. Excuse me, uh, Stacy, you have a phone call. Okay, just a second. That's probably one of the most ridiculous things you have ever said. And believe me, on this subject, you've said plenty that's oh, ridiculous. Come on, Stacy, you don't know what Amber. Mom is not like one of the toys that you claimed exclusivity to when we were children. People don't work that way. I'll take care of him in no time. Yeah, isn't that what you said when you first went after him? And all the times you went after Babs. Listen, honey, why don't you just shut your mouth before I knock it off? <laughs> I'm just trying to point out that nothing is as easy as it seems, Lance. Well, I don't think finding somebody in the hospital is going to be too difficult, you know? Maybe. But I think you're forgetting two little details, like getting in and getting out. Minor details. Oh, really? And what about the cops that'll probably be there? And the security guards, are they minor details, too? What makes you think the cops are going to be there? Just the fact that they know it was a murder attempt that put Weaver in there to begin with. You've been watching too many cop shows, honey. It don't happen like that in real life. As for the yeah. security guard, that's nothing. I already know how they work. No problem. And I suppose none of the doctors or nurses are going to recognize you either. What's going on here, Ramona? Why do you care? Hey, I don't think you can pull it off. And when you don't, you're going to come running right back to me. Nothing's going to go wrong. Well, it better not, because I'm telling you, Lance, I've got plans, and they begin 30 seconds after you walk out that door. And they don't include you, and they're not going to include you. <laughs> I'm crushed, Ramona. I'm very crushed. I thought you liked me. I'm serious, Lance. Our partnership is over. <laughs> no way you're coming running back to me again. Well, that's all right. Because I've already used up all it's worth. 
And what's that supposed to mean? Just look at yourself. You tell me. Don't blame it on me, honey. You lost those Johns. That was your own fault. Your little traveling days around these circles are over. Men don't like women that are shopworn. Right? Hope you find somebody when I'm gone. You know why? Because you're going to need them. Your little soft selling days are over. Oh, you yeah. don't. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You don't want to hurt me, do you? You want to give me a little good luck kiss? Drop it! Huh? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, wow. Uh, by the way, Ramona, if I want to come back here, I will. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Bye-bye. <laughs>